What's up traders? What's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We got to talk about what has been one of the main driving forces to the S&P 500's rally. Today, at the end of the day, we saw a gamma squeeze once we held above 480 and the market immediately pushed up higher in a very rapid fashion. We'll break down what that is using these nice graphs and charts right here to really make it simple for you guys to understand gamma levels and how to monitor some of the future important gamma levels moving forward. Right. If we take a look into the end of January, we can see that the call wall has been there at 480. And if you're able to hold that call wall level and not have it act as resistance, oftentimes you can start to see gamma squeezes. So we're going to break that down in today's video, go over some of the key levels for gamma, such as the call wall and the put walls. Uh, moving forward into February and then throughout the later half of the year as well. Uh, so it's going to be a really good one. We'll also break down, you know, what is gamma, give you guys a nice explanation, the key terms, right, as well as how you can use gamma when it comes to trading or investing. Now, as always, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. So be sure to read through the disclaimer, all right? And if you're new to the channel, I started a completely free newsletter for you guys. It's called Investment Intelligence, giving out free, valuable finance content as well as free trade ideas every single week. I try to, we'll, you know, sprinkle about one to two free trade ideas in there. And this is what they'll look like, right? Highlighting the conditions on the chart, as well as showing you guys the chart itself, breaking down what it is that we're looking at, you know, in a few simple words. Now you can go back and review the website. Um, so it's kind of got a blog format as well to it. Uh, and you can check, you know, some of the previous newsletters and how they've worked out. A lot of the newsletter trades have worked out very well. Now, RTX is one of the most recent ones. Uh, PayPal was just, again, the most recent one. PayPal has just been a really tradable stock here lately. Um, you know, PayPal did really good for some people that I know today. All right. And you can see members hitting me up in the Discord about you know, RTX and talking about how their January call options went up over 88%. So if you want to be a member of the Discord, it's only a dollar right now. Now in the Discord, not only do you get access to my different analysis and trade ideas, um, you know, that's where all of the different trade ideas will be, not just in the newsletter, but you actually get access to all of the gamma levels and all of the charts that we're going to go over in today's video. So any stock that you want, you can actually find the gamma levels, find the call wall, find the put wall, as well as dark pool levels and many other valuable resources are inside of the Discord. So using promo code JAN24 will get you in for just a dollar, trying to celebrate the new year and kick the new year off strong. But that promo code will end as soon as January is over. Now, let's talk about the call wall. So for next week, it's 480 still. Now we're above that level. Okay, we closed at 482.43 today, all right? And we're trading above there. And a large factor into us pushing to 482.43 was the fact that, you know, we did hold 480 and we were able to get above there and we saw a very quick gamma squeeze. Now the call wall is still 480 heading into the end of January, into January 31st. So for next week and the week after, um, you know, 480 is gonna be a pretty key level right now. And we'll have to see if the call wall will adjust because these levels can adjust, right? And monitoring these can help give you an edge whenever you notice them adjust and whenever you see how they're changing, it can give you a little bit of context clues. Now, what is gamma? Okay, let's go ahead and start off with that. So in the stock and options market, gamma represents the rate of change in an options delta for a one point change in the underlying stock's price. It's a second order derivative, which might sound complex, but think of it as a measure of acceleration of an options price sensitivity relative to the stock price. Now, the key terms in gamma trading is going to be the call wall. So this price level is, um, you know, basically with a significant amount of call option interest. Uh, it acts as a magnet for stock prices, and then it sometimes serves as a resistance level as well. So we saw a really good example of that back in December where 480 was the call wall for a really long time. And it was acting as a magnet, but each time we got close to 480, we weren't able to get above that, right? It kept acting as resistance, kept acting as resistance. Now, the zero gamma level, this is a situation and a level where the market is indifferent to directional moves. So at this level, the market is not expecting large price swings at all. And the put wall is going to be very similar to the call wall, 
but it's for put options. Now, remember, a call wall, uh, a call option is a bet that a stock is going to go up, and a put option is a bet that a stock is going to go down. So the put wall is often seen as a support level in stock prices, and it can also act as a magnet in more bearish times, right? Um, you know, if the market is trading more bearish, you know, that put wall is going to act like a magnet for price. Now, a gamma squeeze is a rapid increase in the price of the underlying stock, often driven by option dealers needing to hedge their positions due to a higher number of call options. And so that's what we saw today. Um, you know, today was OPEX Friday, right? And, you know, once a month you get these big option expiration dates. And today, you know, not only did we have the call wall at 480, the really high gamma level at 480, uh, but we were able to hold there, right? So it kind of forced market makers to hedge their positions due to the high number of call options at that call wall and holding above that call level. And that caused a very quick gamma squeeze. Now, how can you use gamma? Uh, well, you can do it by understanding that gamma can provide a strategic advantage. So by monitoring the gamma levels and the key thresholds like the call and put walls, you can better anticipate market movements and adjust your strategies accordingly. Think of it as having a high tech radar in your investment toolkit. OK, and moving forward, we're going to use this tool now to try to give us some clues into what price action could potentially do uh, or where it, you know, it may gravitate towards. So starting off in the first week of February, the call wall here is 495. The put wall is still 450. So 450 is really that big, big support level uh, when it comes to a put wall. It's been that level for, you know, two, three months now. And we're not really seeing that change. That seems to be the big put wall and the big level uh, of support potentially, right? Now, when we take a look, the call wall actually starts to advance past 480 starting in February, right? It's actually at 495. Now, the graph shows you these things, right? With the red lines meaning puts and the blue lines meaning calls. And this shows you the highest amounts by the price is which is listed down here. Uh, but, you know, the function in the Discord is very nice and it just simply spits it out for you. The call wall is at 495. So that's for the first week of February. If we go to the second week of February, the levels are still the same. The call wall is 495 and the put wall is 450. But once we go to that third week of February, look at the call wall. Okay, the call wall is actually at 500. So it moved, all right, from 480 in January to 495 in February. And then in the later half of February, it goes up to 500. Now, what's really interesting is that, you know, yes, here's the end of February right here, the 229 expiration date. But as we move forward, right, and we go to the end of March, end of April, it stays at 500. OK, the call wall stays at 500, you know, really for basically the next, you know, three, four months. Right. It's basically going to be between 495 and 500. But what's interesting is we start to see the put wall really drop a lot here, right? So the put wall goes from in the end of February, uh, in March, it starts to go to 430. And then in April here, it goes all the way down to 400. So there's a really big swing here in between the call wall and the gamma wall, and basically the really big levels that the market is betting on. And so being that we're closer to that 500 level right now, you know, that's a level where the price could gravitate towards, right? Where that call wall where that big gamma level could potentially act as a magnet. Now, it's not a guarantee to say that, hey, you know, we're going to hit 500, but it is really interesting to see that, you know, as soon as February comes, we move up to 495. And then by the end of February, it's at 500 and it stays at that 500 level all the way to the end of April. Now, the reason that I think that's really interesting and actually it stays that way all the way into the end of May. Uh, the reason I think that's really interesting is because we saw that 480 was a very big gamma level for a couple months uh, here recently in the most recent uh, you know months of trading. And so if I see that 500 is going to be that big call wall, you know, starting at the end of February, well, then I know that that could be a really big resistance level uh, in February, in March and in April. And I also know that, hey, if we do happen to close above 500 and hold that 500 level, well, then I know that there's the potential for squeezes, right? And gamma squeezes. And so you can use that in those two ways, right? Not only can you say, hey, well, I know that that's an area where we could gravitate and there could be large resistance over the next few months. We might not just break right through 500. It may take a while for us to break through 500. 
But when you see us holding 500 and, and going higher, then that's when you could potentially scalp or trade those gamma squeezes that we saw, you know, basically like the one that we saw today, right? So that's how you want to use it. And when we move into the end of um, June, right? So basically, um, you know, summer uh, and the end of June heading into July, the call wall is 520. So, I mean, look at what we're seeing, guys. Is we're seeing the gamma levels continue to go higher, continue to go higher, continue to go higher in the S&P 500. We're seeing, you know, basically large bets on the S&P 500 going up. So that's really, really interesting to me. And, you know, if we were to get that gamma squeeze sometime maybe in April, right, or early May, and we were to squeeze above that 500 level, then 520 could be that area that acts as a magnet. Now, what's significant about the end of June? Well, 4th of July is right after that. Not only does the stock market historically tend to rally surrounding markets, uh, surrounding holidays, right? It may sell off the day before a holiday due to people not wanting to hold um, any risk positions do, you know, because anything can happen over the uh, extended, uh, you know, market break, right, around holidays. Uh, but typically, stocks tend to rally, you know, in and around holidays. And so we're seeing that the gamma level is rising to 420, heading into a holiday week, right, of July 4th. I think that that's pretty interesting. Uh, and, you know, these levels may not stay the same. These levels can change very quickly. Uh, but I do think that this is something that you guys are going to want to monitor. Uh, and, you know, basically monitoring 480 as the call wall, you know, throughout the whole entire month of December was something that really helped give us an edge and kept us a little more bullish than bearish, right? Yeah, there were some signals of, of things, hey, you know, maybe we could get a pullback. Uh, you know, we had a very rough start to the year this year in January of 2024. But ultimately, the S&P 500 finally made new all-time highs, um, you know, after seeing, you know, tech and QQQ uh, and many other sectors or indices making all-time highs. The spies finally done it, um, you know, at the end of the day, Unless you're a bear who is not invested at all into anything, uh, this is something that should make you happy. You know, seeing you know stocks make new all-time highs doesn't mean that it's a topping signal. Maybe you know we could get a top here soon. Will it be a short-term top? Will it be a long-term top? You know, that's things we'll have to monitor. Um, but you know, when it comes to more of levels and levels of interest that you want to pay attention to, uh, gamma is really going to help you out. Remember, you can use this not only for the SPY, all right, um, but you can actually go in the Discord and you can get this for, you know, your favorite stock, right? And really just get a good idea of what are some of the gamma levels, right? And you, and you say, hey, well, you know, we're at the put wall right here, or hey, we're at the call wall right here, or hey, we're fast approaching one of those, or we're in zero gamma territory right now. You know, just little things like these um, can help give you an edge. You know, remember, trading and investing is pretty much like going to war. Okay. It's like going to battle. You need to have the proper weapons at your disposal. You need to have as many weapons as possible. And then you need to know how to properly use those weapons. Uh, doing that will help increase the odds of serious success. It'll never guarantee you success, but it will increase your odds of success. And hopefully you guys found value in today's video. Uh, if you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to the newsletter using that link in the description. It's completely free, uh, you know, giving out free valuable finance content, free trading content, as well as free trade ideas. Uh, and don't forget, you can get into the Discord for only a dollar right now using that promo code JAN24. You know, get your dark pool levels on your favorite stock. You know, get your come in here and uh, get your gamma levels on your favorite stock. All right. Uh, and in the Discord, you also get all of my analysis and all of my different trade ideas rather than just one or two a week, you know? All right. And if you enjoyed today's video and you, you know, ever want to do a one-on-one -on -one session, I do these one-on-one -on -one sessions all the time. You can visit my Ko-Fi page using that link in the description. Uh, and in there, click in on the commissions tab. You can book a 30-minute or a one-hour coaching session. All right. Um, you know, we can go over many different things. We can go over some of my day trading dynamics and swing trading strategies. Maybe you want an interactive Q&A and you've got some questions that are really just burning that you feel like you want some answers to. Uh, many different things. We can go over um, option strategies. I know a lot of people, um, you know, will talk to me about those different things like that. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.